welcome to the latest video. This one is Orcs and Goblins, Skarsnik and Gobla. This is the uh, Goblin War Boss with the giant squig on this uh, base that ends up being uh, the equivalent of 3 by 2 in a uh, Goblin Horde. So he's Night Goblin War Boss. So I started out by uh, basing everything um, and spray painting it all black. And there you can see. So Gobla, there's kind of a scenic base on here. I added a couple little mushrooms um, from the uh, Night Goblin, or it might have been actually from the uh, fan Fanatic kit. So I'm painting up Gobla here. I started up with a Mechorite red sort of a base so that this would go on easier, but I'm using these uh, Reaper Triad here. So I'm starting with a Bloodstained red, and that's what you're seeing right here. So I'm going to be building that up through these reds. Uh, it's pretty subtle changes, but i uh, going to be kind of going on these raised up areas as we go through here. So a nice deep red, uh, a little bit different from the blood red triads of GW and whatnot. So uh, you can see there are some of the lines, pretty subtle, but uh, lots of character in that thing anyways. So uh, then I'm using these oranges here. I wanted something that would stand out uh, from the rest of it. So I chose a, an orange triad, got a magna, magma red lava and explosion, another great reaper triad. And I'm uh, just going to build those up there. So you can see kind of starting out at the edges with the highlights and uh, trying to blend those in a little bit. Uh, now what I'm doing is all these uh, teeth and, and claws and uh, spikes and whatnot. I'm doing that all these grays here. So it's a bit of a blue-gray, another uh, Reaper triad, so I don't have to worry about mixing things. Um, not quite like a Space Wolf gray if you're using GW, but uh, somewhere in between there. So a bit of a, a, bit of a blue-gray. And just trying to blend there, you can see kind of where that the colors are different there, and uh, blending those through. And there you can see right up to the lighter color. So uh, normally I do things a bit of a, a more of a brownish uh, bone color, but I thought that would look different and neat on this guy. Uh, now I'm using the regular um, blood red. Oh, these two here should be switched. Sorry. Phoenix red is the lighter one. And now these uh, these reds from Reaper tend to be a bit more pinky. So I thought that would look good for the uh, the gums. And uh, just building up those there. And it's hard to see in these pictures, but it is a bit more of a, a fleshy pink, sort of a red there. Uh, now I'm doing some base coats over on Skarsnik. So uh, bolt gun metal on all the metal bits, and scab red on the red areas, and uh, Kemery brown on anything that's going to be bones. And here you go here, a bit more of that stuff, so nothing too fancy there. And Gretchen Green for the uh, Goblin Flesh on things here. Okay, so now I'm doing a bit more base coats, so uh, Dwarf Bronze on the gold bits, and Calthan Brown on these. Now these are going to end up being uh, kind of like reddish colors. Um, I'm going to make them look like uh, uh, Dwarf, uh, I think those are, what are they, Giant Slayers or... Troll slayers or whatever they are, the slayers for for uh, dwarves. So they'll end up. You'll see how that works. So uh, I did a, a, a Katash and green, I believe it was there, or sorry, camel green highlight, and then I'm doing a thrack green wash just to blend it down. And uh, using some of the Reaper grays here. So that's probably a bit darker than any of the GW ones. So if I was doing that, I'd do uh, Codex gray with a bit of Chaos black. And this one here might be like Codex Gray Straight. And so I'm just building those up. And it's over-exaggerated highlights. You can see it there on his arm. Um, but what's going to happen, I'm going to give it a, a black wash, and it'll bring it all down. So there's with a, this cloudy gray. So obviously it looks a bit too uh, too bright. And that's uh, the Badab Black over all of the, the silver bits, as well as the whole cloak. And uh, I find that that helps blend in those grays as well as tone them down just a touch. Uh, now I'm working on the base here, so uh, I don't think I show you these steps, but uh, basically starting with the shadowed stone on everything except for the deepest parts, because I gave this a bit of a black wash while I was going over it, and then just kind of building these up, and the weathered stone is just the edge highlights. And that goes pretty quick. You don't have to be too accurate, because it's just a stone. Okay, so now I'm building up these uh, bone bits, and uh, here, so bone shadow is very similar to Kemery Brown, uh, but I gave that a bit of a, 
the Devlin Mud Wash. Um, so it, the Kemri Brown ends up being a bit darker, so the Bone Shadow uh, is obviously a different color uh, once you start putting it on there. And just building those up and trying to get the lightest part right at the very end. Okay, and here's the uh, the red there that I talked about, so the red hair. So that's this is a triad from Reaper. I, I like this one. It kind of takes all the thinking out of it. And uh, so it's just auburn shadow, carrot top, and then highlight orange, and just building that up and, and some layers. And then some blood red on the staff here, as well as that little uh, plate on his chest. Oh, and these uh, these fungus things here, the mushrooms, they, they have that same blood red, and you'll see that. Um, then bleached bone, uh, what do we have for that? So that's, a, that's what I did these with, as well as this mushroom uh, handle, the spear. And uh, I think that's about all oh, these here had bleached bone and a little bit of uh, griffin sepia. That's, that is just to help tone it down just a touch. And that's basically it. Um, a little bit of bleached bone on this guy's loincloth. Uh, a bit of shining gold on these gold areas here. And uh, yeah. oh, and a bit of snake bite leather on these leather bits. That's the parts that I didn't tell you about. Oh, and the. The, the eyes didn't really uh, show up well on this thing, but they're, uh, they're one of the uh, foundation yellows. And then, of course, down here, just a scorched brown for the, the earthy bits with a beastal brown highlight. And then I used some static grass to fill over some of the, uh, the holes there because it didn't quite fit together perfectly. And rather than use green stuff, I just filled it with white glue and uh, put static grass. And, yeah, so these are just uh, circles with... Um, bleached bone and a little bit of skull white. So this guy's a cool character. He helps delay some of the enemy models. They have to uh, wait for deployment. I think if you, you roll a d6 for every unit that deploys against him, and uh, I think it's on a 6, they, they have to go into reserve. So that can disrupt a lot of battle lines. Um, but otherwise, I haven't had too much luck with him. I've only played with him a couple times. But now that he's painted, I'll probably try him out more often. There's a bit of a close-up. For some reason, the uh, the dull coat that I put on there came out a bit glossy. That's unfortunate. Maybe I just need to do a, a bit of a misting, and that'll knock it down a bit. But really cool model. Going to make a great centerpiece. Um, I just need to get a lot more goblins painted up. I don't have any big hordes done yet, unfortunately. The biggest unit I have is the 25, which isn't nearly big enough. And a bit of an overhead, and I'll show you a couple shots of what he looks like. So there's him in a unit that would have been uh, 20, so that's 4 by 5 And I took out uh, six guys here. So he's he's a special size base that takes out six. Um, there's a bit of a different look. So these are the goblins I've done with red cloaks, and of course he's got a black cloak, which is more uh, traditional Night Goblin look. And there's what he'd look like if that whole unit was like that. And I put him on the side just to give you an idea of the size there. So a really cool unit. Going to look great in a giant horde. Maybe uh, 50 goblins or so. He would be a pretty killer guy. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, check out my blog or my channel over at Mini Wargaming for more videos. See you next time.